Hello everyone, this is Nitij and today we are going to implement scroll animations in a React application using the Intersection Observer API. This project is a good way to learn how to create dynamic and interactive web applications that respond to user scrolling. This is the demo of what we are going to build. This is a list of items and as we are scrolling down, new items are not appearing instantly in the list. They are simply fading in by applying an animation where they are moving from bottom to the top. So this gives a nice fade in effect for the list items as they appear while a user is scrolling down. So we will be using the Intersection Observer API and this API provides a way to observe the changes whenever a target element intersects with another element within the browser's visible viewport. You can learn more about the Intersection Observer API by opening its MDN Docs webpage. So it has so many different options and features when it comes to observing any HTML elements intersection with another element. So do try this out. But first, let's get started with our project to build the scroll animations of our list items. So this is Visual Studio Code with a boilerplate React application created using Create React App. Over here, the first thing I will do is to create the component for our list. So let's create a new folder within the SRC folder with the name Components. And within this Components folder, I will create a folder with the name My List. And inside this my list, I will create a new file with the name index.jsx. Now let's first use the shortcut to generate the arrow function component. And I will simply name it my list as well. I'm going to start with setting up the items for our list. So const items and then set items equals to use state. Now the values for the items are going to be fetched by using array.from so array.from over here i will use a sequence generator function so for that first i need to provide an object as an argument with the length property so the number of items that we are going to have in our list is going to be 50. now after this object we need to provide a callback function which is going to return the error item for each iteration so this is going to accept the value and the index so we are going to use the index so let's do that we will use a template string to return the text value for each item so the text value is going to be list item following with the index of the item so dollar i plus one next we need individual refs for each list item so const item refs equals to use ref and then items dot map so items dot map is going to return a new ref created using react dot create ref so react dot create ref all right so after our items are created we can have a use effect hook to monitor the items as a dependency so let's do that First, let's add the callback and then add the dependency array where we are simply going to add items. Let's start with creating a new instance for the intersection observer. So const observer equals to new intersection observer. This is going to accept a callback function. So the callback function is going to have the entries argument and we can use the entries argument to find out if any of the entries are intersecting in the current visible viewport or not so for each entry we are simply going to find out by using a for each loop so for each entry within the entries if any of these entry is intersecting so if entry dot is intersecting if the entries are intersecting then we are going to apply the animation classes so for now, I'm just going to add this comment over here and we will come back to this part later so that you can relate to what we are doing to apply the animations. So apply animation classes. The second argument that we need to provide for the intersection observer constructor is an options object. 
over here i'm just going to provide the threshold value so let's set the threshold value as 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 simply means the percentage value based on which we are going to find out if the entry is intersecting or not so if any of the list item is visible in the viewport by 50 percent then only this intersection is going to trigger and we will be applying the animation classes next step is to observe each of the refs that we have created for our list items to do that we will iterate over each ref that we have created so item refs dot current dot for each item refs dot current is going to have the ref collection so for each ref we will simply check if first ref is not null or if ref is available then we will simply call observer intersection observer dot observe the ref dot current which will be pointing to any of the list item finally let's also provide the cleanup function so when this component is going to unmount then we need to stop observing for any of the elements because none of the list items are going to be available so to prevent potential memory leaks or data leakage we need to provide a cleanup function so i'm simply going to copy this for each loop code from over here and then instead of observe we will simply unobserve each of the refs within item refs.current next i'm going to add the html for our list and list items and i will be using tailwind css to style the html elements so let's use this default div as the list items container and i'm just going to add some tailwind utility classes to style this parent div so this div is going to have a flex call layout with each of the list items arranged in a single column now inside this div i am simply going to iterate over the items collection so items dot map and for each item we are going to return a new div so item and then the item index hold on index instead of this we can have a curly bracket so that we don't have to write the return statement so div and then for this div first we need to provide the key so key is going to be the index and then we need to provide the ref value so ref prop value can be set by simply using this current index value so items ref dot current and then index because the item refs dot current is pointing towards the collection of individual refs we can simply use the indexing to set the ref values for each of the list items finally let's set the class name for individual list items again i'm going to use tailwind's utility classes but now for animations we need to add some extra classes the first one that i'm going to add is the transition all class so that the transition animation is going to be applied to all the properties and then i'm going to add the animation duration which is going to be 500 so 500 is an arbitrary value which has a specific duration associated with it you can find out more about these values in tailwind css documentation now i am going to provide the animation type which is going to be ease out and the initial styling of each of the list element so initially the opacity is always going to be zero and the initial y value is going to be eight so that we can have a effect for each of the list item in which they will appear to move from bottom to top while transitioning to a visible state okay so these are all the classes that we need for individual list items now finally let's just print the item value itself within this items div and that is pretty much everything we need to do for the html now remember i told you that we will revisit this section later where we are going to apply the animation classes for each of the intersecting entry or intersecting list item so let's do that now when any of the list item is visible in the viewport by 50 percent then we need to do two things first we need to add a bunch of classes by using entry dot target dot class list dot add and the classes that we are going to add is to make the list item visible and to place it appropriately by resetting its y value so the classes that we need to set are opacity 
200 and translate y to 0 and we also need to remove the existing classes which are hold on opacity 0 and translate y 8 so when the classes will switch from opacity 0 to 100 and translate y to 8 then the browser is going to animate this transition because we have added the classes transition all with duration 500 and ease out okay so now it's time to import this component within our app component so so first i will remove the default stuff let's remove the logo as well and let's import our list so import my list and then let's simply use it over here so my list save it and now let's execute the command npm start to see if our scroll animations for list items are working or not okay so this is our list and now let's scroll down so our list items are appearing while animating from bottom to the top so it looks like our code is working so guys that wraps up our project and we have successfully built a react application with scroll animations using the intersection observer api and tailwind css this project not only makes our application more interactive but also demonstrates the power of combining different web technologies to create engaging user experiences if you found this tutorial helpful then please consider subscribing for more content like this your support encourages me to create more tutorials and share more exciting projects with you thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video